Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you how to create a heat map from pivot tables in Excel. I am going to work with two sets of different data sources uh, which are from advertisement campaigns. My data sources are from some campaigns in Google Ads to create a pivot table and then turn them into a heat map and show you how you can actually get insights from your data. As I said, my data are from advertisement, Google Ads campaigns, but these insights that you can get from heat maps in pivot table can be useful for actually any kind of data that you work with and can give you any, uh, can give you very va valuable insights. So let's review the data sources. This is my first data set. I'm going to create a pivot table from my data, going to insert menu, click on pivot table and OK. Now I'm creating my pivot table. I bring months uh, to the rows, day of, day, day of the week to column. And the metric that I want to review uh, for now, it is, reven uh, it is revenue. Uh, first, let me clean my table a little. I format in my revenue data to currency without decimal. To create a heat map from my pivot table, I don't really need grand total, so I'm going to review to remove them from my table. I go to design uh, grand total of four rows and columns. Now I have a pivot table uh, that shows the revenue for each month based on day of the week. Uh, what I want to see is in which days I usually get more revenue. So I click, uh, I select the uh, values in my pivot table. Let me zoom a little. I select uh, the values on my pivot table going to the top menu in Excel, home. In the conditional formatting, color scales, I can select which color scale fits me better. There are some options. I'm going to select this one, uh, the third one, green, white, red, because for revenue, you uh, generally more revenue is better. So you want the, uh, it makes sense to have higher uh, numbers in revenue in green and lower in red. So what I can see here quickly is that uh, on Sundays, I, I always get less revenue in all months. And uh, from what I see here, in, uh, mo from Monday to Thursday uh, and a little Friday, I get higher revenue on those days of the week. Uh, but uh, people who work in advertise advertising industry, they know that this in this data might not give me enough insight because the amount of revenue that I get uh, really depends on how much money on a spend I spend. It's uh, very normal in most of the industries, in many industries, that you spend mo uh, less money on uh, weekends on Saturday and Sunday. So when you spend less uh, money you get less revenue. So this data doesn't really give me insight whether my uh, uh, data, my advertising campaigns are performing poorer or, uh, or better in uh, which days. Uh, just because I get less revenue on Sundays, on weekends, on Saturdays, doesn't really mean, doesn't necessarily mean that uh, my campaign is performing poorly on those days. So I need to review revenue data based on the cost, based on how much money I spend. So I'm going to change my value here. I'm going to first create a, a new calculated field in my uh, pivot table. I call it a return on ad spend or ROAS and create a formula for, uh, for that based on revenue and cost, revenue divided into cost because the, per, the revenue is really related to cost. Now uh, it, uh, the, it is added automatically to the value section. I remove a, a revenue from values and 
And once again, I want to format my data uh, to just numbers, uh, two decimal places. And I'm going to create a heat map again. Conditional formatting, uh, the color scales. And I select the third one. Here, I see the same trend. This gives me a better insight about return on ad spend. On Sundays and slightly on Saturdays, generally on weekends, I get less return on ad spend on my campaigns from this data. Uh, this is the insight that I can get regardless of how much revenue. Uh, the return on, S on ad spend, I want to be higher. So based on this insight, maybe it makes sense for me uh, to spend less money on weekends or if my budget is limited, I don't want to spend any money on weekends, on Sunday at least, because uh, it is less profitable for me on those days. I can uh, allocate all of my budget on the days that I get a better return on ad spend. Now I'm going to uh, work on another set of data. I have another data source here on my in my folder. I open that file. Uh, this time I want to uh, analyze my data based on the hour of the day and uh, day of the week. Let's create a new pivot table for this ta uh, file. I have hour of the day, I take it to rows uh, or day and day of the week to the columns. And first, uh, let's review revenue data. Uh, revenue is called conversion value uh, in my data set. Uh, let's again, uh, first, uh, I don't need grand do total to uh, create a heat map. I go to design grand total of for both rows and columns. Now to clean uh, my numbers, my data, I select them, right click, number format, change it to currency without any decimal places. And to create a heat map, I select my data source in the home section, conditional formatting, color scales. Here, clearly I can see that in the off-peak hours, uh, my campaigns, I, I, I make less revenue uh, from 12 a.m. until 6 a.m. and also uh, at 10, from 10 to 11 p.m. And uh, on the other uh, hours of the day, I make more revenue. Again, this uh, data might not give me enough insight because uh, it is normal that uh, in the off-peak hours you make less revenue. So it's not really something that uh, is uh, surprising to me. Uh, not many people are really going to uh, wake up uh, at 3 a.m. and browse on the internet. That's why I get less revenue. So I need some uh, better metrics to really get some insights. First, I can uh, compare cost per click because even if I get less revenue on off-peak hours, if the cost per click is lower, so uh, it means that uh, my advertisement can be uh, profitable. So let's uh, check that. Going to the pivot table analyze, field items and sets, I create a new calculated field, cost, call it cost per click. The formula is cost divided into clicks. It automatically adds to the value section. I remove the previous met previous metric, sum of conversion value. Again, I need to kill in my data, format my numbers. Number format for cost per click is uh, currency. I let it stay with uh, decim two decimal places. And now let's create a heat map and get some insight. Conditional formatting, color scale. Uh, this time, the thing is that for revenue, revenue, the higher revenue is actually uh, clearly better. But for cost per click, uh, it's the opposite. The lower cost per click is uh, better for in advertisement. Uh, so I don't want my lower cost per click to show uh, in red. Uh, so I select something else and the opposite. This time, the lower numbers are green and higher numbers red. 
So as you see, even though I get less revenue uh, in, on, uh, in the off-peak hours where I'm from 12 a.m. until 6 p.m., but the cost per click is lower, significantly lower. My cost per click seems mostly around four to five dollars in those uh, in those hours of the day, but in other hours of the day, uh, it's mostly uh, between six to seven dollars, above seven dollars. So the first insight that I can get from this heat map is that my off-peak hours, the cost per click is lower. So this can be a good thing. But still, is my advertisement uh, profitable? Uh, we need to uh, look at more insights. This time, I'm going to go to Pivot Table Analyze, create a new calculated field, uh, similar to the previous uh, data set, return on add spend. The formula is revenue or conversion value divided into cost. Okay, uh, let's remove some of cost per click from the table. Let's format our data again, our numbers. Uh, the return on ad spend or row as uh, should be number. Uh, two decimal places is fine with me. And again, the higher row as, the higher return on ad spend means that my advertisement is more profitable. Let's select our data, create a heat map, home, conditional formatting, color scale, and Let's see. Now this uh, gives me very good insight. Uh, in the off-peak hours, uh, from 12 a.m. to 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., 4 a.m., and similarly from 7 p.m. to uh, 11 p.m., uh, off-peak hours, even though I, lay, I, I make less revenue, but most of the numbers are green. Uh, the heat map shows that I, I, get, I make higher ROAS, higher return on ad, uh, ad spend in those hours. So I don't want to pause my ads in off-peak hours. I want to let them run, even though I get less revenue, but they are actually more profitable for me compared to uh, peak hours of the day. Uh, based on the previous uh, metric that we reviewed, cost per click, uh, we can somehow conclude that, uh, reach to conclusion that the higher return on ad spend on in off-peak hours can be attributed to lower cost per click uh, in those hours. The uh, less amount we pay for the clicks, it means that we, we, are, are, um, we will be more profitable when we make revenue. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.